In this video, I show you how you can remove personal information from a software simulation or video demo. Okay, let's get started here. So I got a message from Naomi Howard on Paul Wilson Learning and Design's Facebook page, and Naomi asks, uh, your videos so far have been very helpful. I'm a developer for a schoolhouse that teaches adult learners. I'm working on a project that has personal information that I need to black out once it is recorded through Captivate 8. Can you tell me or send me a link to a video that shows the steps to cover that information? So I've taken a very simple approach to this problem in the past. Uh, I know there are certainly, uh, there might be alternatives to this, but here's uh, one of my more recent video demos. I generally don't do software simulations, uh, but I have in the past, and I know that something similar would work for either solution. So in this case here, I have this recording that I've made, and I can, you know, go along the um, the path of the recording until I find the spot that maybe I want to edit out. And of course, this would work slightly different on, um, on Adobe Captivate um, 8. But let's say here I wanted to remove my name from this area of the screen here. So it's really just a matter of taking a look at where the, the name first appears on the screen and then using one of the objects, like either um, a smart shape, just to simply cover it up. And what I'm going to do is we'll just go into that point on the recording here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a smart shape right over top of that. So we'll hide my name. And you can do a bunch of different things. Of course, you need to play with the timeline to ensure that it's early enough in the recording to, you know, you don't want it to appear for a little bit. So let's just do this. Make sure it's early enough there. Not too early or it'll look strange. And you might want to just rock it back and forth on the timeline there. And then just extend it for however long you're going to need. Maybe it's in this case the rest of the video. Um, and what you might want to do, obviously I can still see the word, the name behind it. So let's go to properties and try something a little different. Maybe we can use an image fill and let's make it a hundred percent opacity so that it really blocks it out. And we'll pick something here that looks kind of fuzzy or something like that. You can use a custom image as well. And it will just show maybe maybe all you really need to do, quite frankly, is just make it black so no one can see Paul's name here in this case. And that's uh, and that's as simple or as complicated as it needs to be. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful or useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.